Hunter Biden timeline, the life, lies, and legal woes. So we're going to be covering Hunter Biden's entire timeline from from when he turned 18 until um, uh, today. So we're going to cover the entire timeline, everything, all the corruption, all the charges, and how this man is still walking around the streets after everything he's done is beyond... <laughs> It's beyond, um, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to put it into words. This man should not should not be walking on the streets for the stuff that he's done. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, but before we get started, go to um, hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. All right, so let's talk about this news here. Now, this comes from um, the Washington Examiner's Tiana Lowe Deutscher, and um, she reports that for the beleaguered middle child of President Joe Biden, the pers um, personal is both political and material to his looming criminal um, commupence. Uh, as, as Hunter Biden begins... His first of two criminal trials while his father embarks on a bruising re-election campaign. The Washington Examiner details the messy timeline of the first son's personal and professional scandals as they pertain to his legal fate. So we're just going to cover this entire timeline here. All right. So June 1988. Hunter Biden, then 18 years old, son of Senator Joe Biden, is arrested on charges of illegal drug possession. But of course, he skirts a prison time through a pretrial diversion program for first time offenders. And it, it also helps that his dad is the senator, right? <laughs> July 1992, Hunter Biden and Kathleen Boo, uh, uh, meet while working as Jesuit volunteers in Portland. Okay, no harm there. Uh, in July 1993, Hunter Biden marries Bull, who is pregnant at the time with their first daughter, Naomi, but Bull pointedly mentions in her memoir uh, that the Bidens were careful not to mention her pregnancy at the time. Why? I, I mean, I don't know. You would think that people would be happy and want to want to share that. With, um, with, with friends and family, but for whatever reason, they didn't want to um, tell anyone that she was pregnant. All right, 1996, after graduating from Yale Law School, Hunter Biden accepts a job from MBNA, the Delaware Bank, whose employees had previously donated $200,000 to his father's Senate campaign. So, <laughs> Yeah, what a cushy job, you know, you graduate from law school and you get a, a nice job um, at a bank like that. Um, and they just happen to give money to uh, to his father. So, I mean, what a coincidence, right? <laughs> In 1998, Hunter Biden leaves MBNA to join the Commerce Department under the Clinton administration. So he get a job from um, from the Clintons in 1998. No doubt because of his father's ties. Again, 2005, Hunter Biden rejoins M MBNA as his father Spears had a bankruptcy reform bill backed by the bank. <laughs> so the bank is pushing this bankruptcy reform bill. And, um, <laughs> you know, and, and Biden is Joe Biden is, is uh, spearheading it. And his son just happened to be working for this company that's pushing this reform. I mean, we see where this is going, right? <laughs> 2006, President George W. Bush appoints Hunter Biden to Amtrak's board for a five-year term. A nomination Senator Tom, Senator Tom Carper defends because, quote, Hunter Biden has spent a lot of time on Amtrak, Amtrak trains. So he rode some trains before. So this gives him <laughs> this gives him the experience to run um, to run an entire board. <laughs> and again, now this is George Bush, uh, um, a Republican. So it doesn't matter if if it's Republican or Democrat. The elite support their own. <laughs> um, Two thousand and nine, Hunter Biden found Rosemont Seneca Partners 
with Christopher Hines, the stepson of John Kerry, an heir to the billion dollar catch up fortune, and Devin Archer. We talked about Devin Archer before, who would later testify that Hunter Biden put his father on speaker, speakerphone dozens of times throughout uh, his decade long business relationship with um, the first son. <laughs> so we got. Remember, I, I talked about Devin Archer before. Basically, he's the one that came out and was like, "Hey, um, whenever we make these deals, he put he put the um, then vice president on the phone while we working these deals. Like, I mean, it's just dirt on top of dirt on top of dirt, and they're getting away with it, really." On um, May 2013, the Navy admits Hunter Biden um, as a reserve with two waivers: one for his advanced age. Because um, that is an age limit. And another for his prior drug arrest. <clears throat> 2013, Hunter Biden joins the board of Chinese private equity firm H or BHR Holdings. We reported on that Chinese firm before as well. Also has ties to his father. Um, February 2014, Hunter Biden is uh, discharged from the U.S. Navy Reserve after testing positive for cocaine drugs again we, he has a he has a problem with cocaine he has a problem with crack hunter biden is literally a crackhead um april 2014 hunter biden joins the board of ukrainian energy from burisma holdings now remember they have he has absolutely no experience in the energy sector but he's happy that they he joins the board of this ukrainian company <laughs> which we know that <clears throat> his father when they was when they was doing um started doing investigations in Ukraine with Burisma, his father came and threatened the, um Ukraine and said if you don't stop this investigation into Burisma, which my 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 son happened to be a board member of, if you don't stop um um investigating them for corruption and fraud and money laundering, then um you're not gonna get any of this aid that we're supposed to be giving you Ukrainians. So and he we got him on video admitting this. He said, "Lo, what you you know? Lo and behold, they went ahead and then dropped the uh, investigation. This is the company that Hunter Biden was a part of um, when when he was bra that Joe Biden was bragging on. Um, I mean, this is just again corruption on top of corruption. July 2014, Bull discovers Hunter Biden's photos of prostitutes from his business travels abroad while he is in rehab in Mexico." Um, July 2015, Bull, Bull, uh, I think I pronounced her name correctly, uh, discovers Hunter Biden's crack pipe in their home and tells him he cannot stay at the home until he is sober. We've seen these emails. We know this to be true. Uh, July 18, 2016, emails indicate Hunter Biden began his affair with his brother's widow, Haley Biden. I mean, just straight disgusting. This is just wrong on so many levels here. Uh, fall 2016, despite the evidence indicating otherwise, Hunter, B Hunter Biden only concedes his affair with his sister-in-law um, begin in the autumn of 2016. Uh, September 8th, 2016, while in an extramarital affair with Haley Biden, Hunter Biden exchanges sex with Elizabeth uh, Secondy, Haley Biden's sister. This dude really has a problem. Of November 2016, Hunter Biden, uh, Hunter Biden's daughters tell Bull about his affair with um, Haley Biden after finding incriminating messages on his iPad. Ugh, I mean, I mean, this is just wrong. This is just wrong. December 9th, 2016, Bull files for the files for divorce. Rightfully so. I mean, she found the prostitute pictures. She found out that he was having sex with. His brother's wife and his, his brother's wife's sister. Like this dude is a dirt bag. Hunter Biden is the dirt bag to the to the up to the top degree. And 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 these companies are hiring him. They know about all these things because if you're gonna be on the board, they're gonna do investigations. They get, so they know these things, but these companies still hire him because they want access to Joe Biden. This guy is incompetent. He's a despicable person. Look at his character. What? company in their right mind will hire him only reason they are again is because who his father is um 
February 23, 2017, Bull files a court motion to freeze Hunter Biden's assets, alleging he, quote, created financial concerns for the family by spending extravagantly on drugs, alcohol, prostitutes, strips, clubs, and gifts for women. And we know this to be true because we all seen a Hunter Biden's laptop and it's, it showed all of this stuff. He he stupidly take pictures of all of these things that he's doing. Um, April 2017, the courts finalized the divorce of Hunter Biden and Bull. Uh, November 2017, Hunter Biden claims in his memoir, uh, he, uh, quote, essentially moved out from his home while with Holly Biden or Haley Biden. November, December 2017, Navy Joan Roberts is likely conceived. Um, um, that's the, uh, that's, that will be Hunter Biden's, um, uh, uh, child that he had with a prostitute. I mean, stripper, I believe she was. Uh, January 2018, Hunter Biden moves back with Haley Biden. Um, why she accept him? I don't know. Uh, February 2018, Hunter Biden and Haley split. Didn't even, didn't even last the entire month. April 1st, 2018, Hunter Biden ceases all contacts with London Roberts, his former employee, after she tells him she is pregnant. Um, June 1st, 2018, Hunter Biden hires an assistant through a Wasco PC and photographs her holding his P, saving the photos to the laptop. Again, this dude is despicable. Um, July 3rd, 2018, Hunter Biden and Elizabeth II decide a lease together on a Greensville, Delaware home. July 27, 2018, Hunter Biden texts Haley Biden to get um, immediately tested for HIV. Oh, my gosh. I mean, just could you imagine that text? That's just some scary stuff. Hunter Biden is a dirt bag. Oh, my gosh. Um, August 28, 2018, London Roberts gives birth to Navy Joan. Um, October 2018, Hunter Biden lies that he's not using drugs on the per uh, purchase of a handgun in Wilmington, North Carolina. Remember, this is a felony. Of November, uh, November 2018, Hunter Biden directs a Wasco PC to remove London Roberts from payroll and health insurance. Uh, December 2018, Hunter Biden withdraws $20,000 from his daughter Maisie's 529. This is disgusting for prostitutes and drugs out of his his own daughter's um, account. I mean, I mean, this is crazy. January 2019, the Wasco PC assistant with whom Hunter had a sexual relationship contacts the company to request her late paycheck and inquire about her insurance status. March 2019, Hunter Biden sends a Wasco PC assistant increments of money over Apple Pay as he asks her to FaceTime nude, fit, nude with, quote, no talk of anything but sex. Oh my gosh, this guy is a deviant. Um, April 2019, Hunter Biden term on the Burisma board expires just as Vice President Joe Biden launches his 2020 bid for the presidency. What a coincidence, right? April 2019, Hunter Biden drops off his laptop at a Delaware computer repair shop, which is <laughs> which is just ridiculous. How you forget this? Um, and never returns to pick it up, rendering the laptop the legal property of the shop owner, John Paul Mack, Isaac, after 90 days of his possession. Again, this is crackhead. This is crackhead activity. That he just drops his laptop off and totally forget about it. And this is, it should have ruined his, um, the, his, his dad's election, but the media uh, caped for him the whole time and tried to say that the laptop story was fake news, when in fact they were the fake news. Um, May, May 2019, um, Hunter Biden meets and marries Melissa Cohen in the span of a week while London Roberts files a paternity and child support suit against him in Arkansas. June 2019, Bull battling colon cancer brings a motion to the Washington, D.C. court to enforce Hunter Biden's spousal support that he failed to pay. September 2019, former Vice President Joe Biden says, quote, I have never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. And this gets, gets this start changing. This start changing. Uh, this 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 quote here. He he, he starts changing it. But um October 2019, Hunter Biden announces his stepping down from BHR while Mac Isaac's father, 
goes to an FBI branch office in Albuquerque to inquire about the implications of Hunter Biden's laptop. Um, thank goodness that this happened. Um, December 2019, Hunter Biden meets Hollywood attorney Kevin Morris at a fundraiser with the president, presidential candidate while the FBI seizes the laptop from Mac Isaac after a previous visit to his home to question him about the laptop's contents. February 2020, Morris begins loaning Hunter Biden millions and preparing his tax statements firsthand to curtail, quote, considerable risk personally and politically. March 2020, London Roberts settles her uh, child support lawsuit after Hunter Biden agrees to pay $20,000 monthly uh, for Navy Joan. April 15, 2020, Buell legal team requests that Hunter Biden be held in contempt after he failed to pay a court order quarter million dollars plus interest now mind you he's getting all these millions he's just not paying it's not that he don't have the money he's just not paying the, these women um august 2020 after hearing nothing about hunter biden's laptop from the fbi over half a year mac isaac tips off the legal team of Ju rudy giuliani thank god that this, that this happened about the laptop which um, mac isaac made a copy of before handling the original to the FBI. See, they try to hide this stuff to protect Biden. September 2020, Steve Bannon connects New York Post reporter Emma Jo Morris with the laptop copy, while Twitter, which had established a back channel with the FBI in preparation for the 2020 election, conducted, quote, tabletop exercises. You know, I've done reports about the whole Twitter file stuff. Um, you can check out the playlist for that. Um, to game out how it would censor a barisma leak about Hunter Biden before his father's election. Um, October 12, 2020, the New York Post publishes the first blockbuster expose of Hunter Biden's laptop, and despite the FBI privately confirming the laptop's authentic authenticity to Twitter, social media giants around the world unite to censor the story. So the FBI knew this was real. They never came out and admitted it. October 19, 2020, dozens of foreign policy and senior Intelligence officials, including CIA Director John Brennan, Leon Panetta, and uh, y'all know I've done a report on this story here, claim without evidence that the laptop story, quote, has all the classic earmarks of a Russian information operation. You know I've done reports on this fake, this 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 propaganda that the um, former directors and, and such did. This is why no one trusts the intelligence community, because of despicable individuals like John Brennan and Panetta and Clapper and the rest of them. October 22nd, 2020, former Vice President Joe Biden says, quote, my son has not made money in China despite later evidence. To the contrary, we've seen the money, we've seen the funds be transferred from China into his account. So we know this is a lie. Um, January 29th, 2021, a Washington DC court determines Hunter Biden owes bull more than $1.7 million in alimony legal fees and interest. Get that money. Good for her. March 2022, um, March 2022, the New York Times reveals that Hunter Biden had been under federal investigation since 2018 for his overseas business dealings and whether they violated federal statutes such as the Foreign Agent Registration Act. He did all this money, made all this money overseas, and never registered as a foreign agent. Anyone else would be locked up in prison right now for this. Um, September 2020, Hunter Biden files a motion to reduce his child support payments to Lon um, London Roberts. October 2022, the Washington Post reveals that although federal agents determined they had enough evidence to charge Biden criminally for tax and gun crimes, attorney David Weiss had not decided whether to file charges. If that was my black ass, you best believe he would come after me. April 2023, Bull legal team files a motion claiming that Hunter Biden owed nearly $3 million. June 20, 2023, the Justice Department attempts to secure a sweetheart deal in which the first son would plead guilty to two misdemeanor tax charges and enter a pre-trial diversion program for gun charges in exchange for blanket immunity from any other future charges, including fair violations. Thank goodness this didn't happen. I mean, could you imagine? I mean, 
these people so any future charges he got to basically get out of jail free free uh free card june but they they did not it thank goodness june 21st 2023 hunter biden uh, moves into the white house with his wife and son june 22 2023 hunter biden rubs shoulders with attorney general merrick garland um at the white house state dinner june 29th 2023 hunter biden settles his support dispute with london roberts for an undisclosed amount and the promise that navy joan cannot adopt the biden surname it's just disgusting he totally denied his child it's just disgusting stuff this shows this shows the, again it shows the culture it shows the credibility of the bidens it's just wrong i mean morally he won't even let the kid have the name of his father. But July 5th, 2023, Hunter Biden moves out of the White House. Um, July 26th, 2023, Judge Mar Marilyn uh, Norica declares the deal unconstitutional and, quote, not worth the paper it's printed on, leading Hunter, to, Hunter Biden to reverse his guilty plea to not guilty. <laughs> That's what I said. Thank you, because that deal that they tried to put together was a basically get out of jail free card, no matter what, and future stuff, which is just crazy. And the judge was like, "Nah, that ain't that ain't gonna fly. That ain't gonna fly." Uh, thank and, and good for her. Um, I think I did a report on that. Um, August twenty twenty three, Garland approves Weiss' request to be um, appointed as a special counsel as Weiss announces the government could not reach a plea agreement with Hunter Biden. September 2023, Hunter Biden is indicted on tax and gun charges with less than a month remaining on the statute of limitations. May 15th, 2024, with less than a month before the beginning of Hunter Biden's first criminal trial, Morris reportedly complains that he is running out of money to continue to back Hunter Biden's legal defense. June 3rd, 2024, the first lady joins her stepson on the first day of his first criminal trial. I mean, <laughs> so that is the entire timeline of Hunter Biden and his corruption and um, showing the nepotism that's going on in government and how the elites protect themselves. But let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.